Hi everyone, today's video is a very quick tip to show you how to take a node setup that you might have taken a long time to get right and then you need to import this exact structure to another blend file. Uh, this is the a method that I use. It's not the only method, of course, but it's the one that I found to be the quickest for my purposes. If you are watching this on YouTube, I would encourage you to go over to my Patreon page where you can get this file. It's called tuneinks underscore 1711.blend for free. Uh, you don't have to be a Patreon supporter to get this particular file. And it's basically a watered down version of my tune shading setup. This basically just gives you some ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and render this to show you what you get. Now, of course, I've built a very basic scene here uh, with a cube and a plane. I've got a light and I've got a camera. And what you can see here is that if I zoom in, we've got some lovely line work that has got also, uh, if I went to my line work layer, went down to my line set. I've got a normal line set and a crease line set. Uh, so those two line sets are already set up with all the various curves and stuff like that. And uh, they're all available in this file as well. So this is basically the look I want to transfer to another scene. So first of all, let's open up another scene. I've got, I've created this thing called a test scene, uh, which is basically a column and a, uh, a bit of tiling work. And if I was to bring in my default camera here and do a, a quick render, you can see that uh, there's some basic materials and there's some shadows from the lighting. But the node setup, uh, if we were to go over to node editor and use nodes under compositing nodes, uh, this is what you would see. But here is how you get this node tree into this file. And it's all got to do with scenes. Now, as you know, you can go to File, Append, and basically bring in anything that you would like from a scene. In this case, I want to go to tuneinks underscore 1711, and I get a list of folders, and one of those folders is Scene. Now, I've set up a scene called Comic Render 1711, and I can basically click on that, hit Enter or Return, now nothing seems to show up, but if we go up here to our scenes panel at the top of our um, 3D render view, we can click on that. And now we can see that under scene, we now have comics rendered. So that scene actually has been brought in to our file. So now what you've got is two scenes with two very different setups. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the plane and the cube, and I'm going to delete them. And under my default scene, I'm going to select and shift select these two objects. Well, let's just go into uh, a normal uh, view here. And after I've got them selected, I can hit spacebar. I'm just going to try type in scene here. Um, and uh, on the uh, contextual menu here, there is object, link objects to scene. Now, if I click, click on that, I can select from my drop down menu, comic render 1711. So if I go back to comic render 1711, there it is. I can now go into the camera that I had set up. Now I'm just going to shift that over a little bit. Uh, let's bring that up there. And I'm just going to go into material shaders so that I can change this light setting so that it's a little bit more shining on the, on the ground there. Okay, so we should get a nice sharp shadow there. Let's, let's move this over here to make it just a tad more interesting. There we go. Okay, that's our scene. And so now when we render that, we now have a comics render of our created scene. And that's basically how you do it. Now, if you want to do one more step and do a little bit of cleanup, what you can do is I'm just going to split this screen here by clicking and dragging on the right-hand corner. I'm going to change that over to my outline of it window I can take this scene uh, and I can delete the old scene. So all you're left with is your comic render scene. Now, if you don't like the name of comic render, you can always click on the scene name and call it something else uh, and then save your scene. And that's basically how you do it. 
I hope you find this tip helpful, and if you would like to see more of this sort of content, I would encourage you to subscribe to my Patreon channel, where you'll find a lot more useful tutorials as well as all of the downloadable files waiting there for you to use. Thanks for watching. Thanks.